What is up, Planeswalkers? There, six back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. Don't forget to head on over to FlipsideGaming.com and use promo code SIX for 10% off on orders over $10. It's a great deal and helps support the channel. Today, we're going to be playing some Best of Three Abs and Junk. This is the list that I've been running with. I was doing practice and, of course, uh, profile home. And, of course, I had super long games. <laughs> the first game I lost, it was against... Uh, Golgari midrange. They just had uh, better draws than I did, unfortunately. The second game that I just finished took forever. It was against a Grixis Drake's deck, and uh, I think I won game one, he won game two, and in game three, I got him down to four, but I was holding a Ravenous Chupacabra. Um, I'm sure this is fine. I was holding a Ravenous, Ravenous Chupacabra, and he knew that because I got it off Explore. And I noticed he was holding um, a couple of cards for, for a while. I have been drawing just like tons of lands at this point, but I've also been drawing some Merfolk Branchwalkers, so I have been able to do something this game. Um, long story short, I end up double top decking Planeswalkers. I didn't mean to keep that on top. I ended up double top decking Planeswalkers. So when, oh, well, you can't block with that, at least. Yeah, really regretting keeping this on top. More of this strange deck. I wonder if, like, a, a streamer or something has, has played it. Um. I'll attack. They only have two cards left. Um, we are... We're gonna take the Bugler just because we can actually cast it. We can't cast the Jade Light Ranger, even though Jade Light Ranger is better for us. Um, yeah, so so my opponent double casts ca uh, Crackling Drake, and I end up double casting Planeswalkers because I, just the amount of men I had. I had a, uh, uh, I went Vraska minus three into. Um, I guess I'm not going to attack. The thing here is like my opponent, my opponent can't really do anything. I mean, I can't hit them because they have a five five, but they can't hit me with their five five because I can trade easily. Thorn Lieutenant is going to be difficult. Because their throwing attack can get quite large. Alright, let's try and keep getting mana. Um, and then I Vivian Reed at the second one, and I, I swung for four, because I had two Lana Royal Elves and a Chupacabra, so it was really cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw that in the graveyard. Um, and not attack with anyone. Alright, Thorn Lieutenant can get up to seven toughness. Right, they don't have 12 mana now. Um. So Thorn Lieutenant can get up to 7 Toughness and what? 6 power? 6 power. Alright. Um, so what I want to do is minimize the number of creatures that she can kill and maximize the number of creatures that I can kill. Or whatever. Um, so I think the best thing to do is Bugler, Bugler, Branchwalker. And then she can only kill two of my creatures. Uh, yes, I believe... I believe that is what I want to do. Bugler, Bugler, Branchwalker. So my opponent can kill two of my creatures here for, for one of theirs. Um, yep, yeah, that's fine. But it does take up most of their turn, I I presume. Um, and it does get a, a pesky creature off the board. Um, I mean, I guess I just... Grab these back. And once again, refuse to attack. I do need to get some mana, please. I'm running 24 lands. And a lot of explore creatures. So, this is very frustrating. Oh, Rekindling Phoenix. Well, if I top deck a black source, I can contempt that. That's not a black source. This is a green source for Jade Light Ranger, I suppose. Jade Light is, I think, the best here because it maximizes our land chances. And unfortunately, I do think I have to grave this. We have one in our hand already. But. So we at the very least have the ability to play Tristani next turn. Um, but I do think Branchwalker Bugler is probably a better line. Just because Branchwalker can get me to some more actual cards. Alright, cool. I, I'm glad that they just got uh, lands there. Knight of Autumn. Sure. I do think it's correct to... Play branch walker. Yeah. 
yeah, that's exactly why, to try and get some Black Source. Um, and do we Bugler or Knight of Autumn? I don't see a reason to Knight of Autumn. I think Bugler's fine. Now we get another Knight of Autumn. Alright, cool. So next turn, I can Woodland Cemetery into Contempt. That's all I can do, unfortunately. But it does stop them from hitting us in the face, which is nice. Yeah, so Woodland Cemetery into Contempt. I guess we can wait until their turn. Nah, I don't want to risk anything. I don't know what the deck plays. But I do like leaving up Thor Lieutenant's ability. Alright, cool. My opponent really shouldn't have played that. Just because it told me that they had nothing. Alright, so now at this point in the game, I, I think I've, I've crossed the... Uh, the line where I, I just have a, a way better position. Um, I think you start with Vraska? Um, there's so many good things. Maybe I don't show them that I'm actually playing Planeswalkers. Because I don't think I need them to win this game. Uh, still don't... Uh, attack anything um i'll probably need to kill wayward sword tooth unfortunately in order to like actually attack yeah fine i can play knight of autumn but i don't think i need to um might as well attack with this. It's kind of free. Um, yeah, I think those are those attacks are fine. Math is for blockers. All right, on to game two. Let's see against this deck. I like Lyra. Um, I don't think I need either of these. Do I like Carnage Tyrant here? Carnage Tyrant's a nice beater, but I don't think it's necessary. Uh, Profane Procession is actually not terrible if I can get the mana for it. I don't think any of the other ones are good. Um, what is the weakest thing here? I think Izoni's relatively weak. She's not, she's not like super weak, but I think she's one of the weakest. Vraska's good... Troops good. Binding's all nice. Man of Bottom is relatively weak here. Um, it does make Militia Bugler a little bit worse if I do that. There's something better. Find Finality, maybe? Well, no. Finality can, can serve a nice purpose by wiping the board. But I might just be cutting down a little bit too much for my Buglers. Uh, is Profane Procession necessary? That... Profane Procession in this specific matchup might be a little bit too win more, so I think I'll I'll bring back the Knight of Autumn. Yeah, I think this is probably fine. I really have been liking Bugler in this deck. It's a nice value add, especially if you're able to chain them together a lot. Hand's not great, we don't since we don't have white, um, but we do have Branchwalker and Thorn Lieutenant. Both Thorn Lieutenant or Branchwalker can help me get White, and Thorn Lieutenant is just a fine card in general. So I think this is fine. Binding is also nice to have. It uh, deals with early game uh, Sword Tooth, and it deals with uh, Phoenix. So probably going to end up playing Tomb as soon as my opponent passes the turn to me. Please, thank you. Right, so we have four mana. We just need some white mana. And there's plenty of that in the deck. Oh, cool. White mana. Um, that said, I don't need it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and play the branch walker. Minimize the life loss here. Um, find finality. I don't think it's good enough in this matchup for me to keep it here. You know what? No, it, it's fine. My, my thought process there was I want to dig to something bigger and better, like my, my top end, but 
it's kind of like useless to dig for that if you end up not like getting that and you just like are getting lands anyway so i think this is fine we will and we'll attack first i guess i'm fine for my opponent blocked here we'll go and play the lieutenants and temple guard tapped could have played one of these untapped and played Knight of Autumn to, to be super strong, but this is fine. And we have a nice excellent binding here. Into a Bugler next turn, which is always nice. Alright, so, so here we're putting on some nice pressure for our opponent. Our opponent can feel free to trade in. Yep. Because at some point we're going to get value off our fine finality. Probably going to Bugler. Bugler makes sense. Start two? Sure. Seven. All right. And a Lava Coil. I do get something. So now I can... Oh, no, no. There's eight exiles. Never mind. I was going to say I can find with it. But we will Bugler up. See if we can get anything here. Branch Walker, which means we get something we can cast. As I said, I really I really like Bugler in this, in this deck. Um, and that can't block, so I might as well get in for the chip damage. Opponent down to three cards in hand. I assume at least one of those is a land. Yep. Alright, two of them are lands, so I believe it can attack now. Yep. But other than that, opponent not on a ton of uh, a ton of value here. Um, of course, I can't attack, but it's fine. Um, I guess I could attack. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a Jade Light. Yeah, we're, we're fine with more Jade Lights. And... Yeah, I mean, I might as well at Night of Autumn. Just make it larger. It's possible I should save it. Um, in order to, like, blow up some enchantment that they could be playing, but... I, I don't really want to save a good card for no reason, essentially. And yeah, I mean, my, my opponent is... Running out of gas, I just need to draw a strong enough card to get through their wayward sorcery. Sorcery, you know, five five is you know good stats to to block. Um, well, that does make it so my four threes can attack. So I'm fine with that. Um, and I will just play this. Want to maximize my amount of uh, mana available? Another sword tooth, sure, sure. Ooh, and I will have mana up for fine penalty, so. So I can get in with my fives. Really don't care if they um if they decide like to attack me on the, the crackback, because I have such great blocks. And they don't. Sure. So do I want to just find here? Yeah, might as well. It's, it's an efficient use of my resources. Yeah, my, my opponent is not in a good spot. Cool, cool. Match one is ours. Let's see if we can win another one. Yes, we did murder him. Azure. Let's see. This is a fine hand. Need some black. Need some more lands in general, but uh, we have some cards to help us out, potentially. We are running 24 freaking lands, as I've said previously. Mold of six. It's good for us. We're also going first, which is nice. Even if we don't get land super early, Branch Walker can apply a decent amount of pressure. Unless, of course, our opponent is playing Moment of Craving. exactly what I wanted. Well, I prefer it if there's an overgrown tomb, but this is fine. This is reasonable. And 
And we will Jade Light first. We do want more lands, so we're going to chuck those in the grave. As, as, as good as both of these cards are, especially the Thorn Lieutenant in this uh, Esper Control matchup, I do want to maintain a semblance of um, uh, mana efficiency. So, looks like they're going to Craving my Branch Walker. Yep. Which leaves the Jade Light Ranger uncountered. Um... I have a Golgari Queen and a Tristani, and I don't have the mana for Vraska, so I think, for efficiency's sake, I'm going to chuck it in the yard. This isn't something I would necessarily always do, but I'm going to see how it works out for me. My opponent could easily um, Ritual of Soot me here. Let's see if they do that. It looks like they're going to do something. Yep, Ritual of Soot. All right. Do another land, which means uh, Tristani is a nice easy follow-up here. And next turn, what I can do is uh, s start sacking the tokens for Golgari Queen. I guess... Yeah, no, I don't know. Not entirely sure. So, as you can see, we, we do now have the uh, the mana necessary to cask um, Relic Seeker, but you know, at what cost would it have been? Um, a part of me here actually likes just passing. The... Um, Because mm. I can contempt it to fairy, and that's kind of what I'm expecting. Um, obviously, they they may not have it, and they do have the insight, so they are doing something with their mana. Um, you know what? I, I think that was actually wrong. I don't think they would to fairy here, just because of the fact that I have lethal on to fairy. Yeah, I, I do think that was probably a mistake. Eldest Reborn. Interesting. I can get my Relic Seeker back. How rude. Um, I am going to... Branch Walker... And I'll cast Gregor Queen. I have enough mana. I think I'm actually just going to eat one of my lands. Everyone is expendable. I got another one back. Yeah, I don't think Teferi is great here just because of the fact that um, I have lethal on Teferi. Vivian Reed is really good. Let us attack. Attack my opponent first. See if this gets a response out of them. Contempt? Sure. Um. So my hope is that I can resolve Vivian Reed. I guess I'll eat this token now. One, two, three, four, five. Uh. I am kind of worried. Oh, I have Knight of Autumn, you dumbass. Uh. Um, so I'm going to cast Militia Bugler. I think that's most likely to get countered from my opponent. Fantastic bait, Justin. You, 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 you do it again. All right, so now we can go ahead and play this Knight of Autumn, which is a great reason to one run white. Go ahead and blow up an enchantment and say uh, goodbye to Elder Born. Now we have an active Vraska and still a decent board here. They can take Vivian Reed, which is unfortunate. But, I mean, we, we have active Vraska. Um, and they're they're down to two cards in hand. All right, so they do to fairy. Let's see if they decide to, like, bounce Vraska or... I guess they have to, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's a desperation move on my opponent's part. Um, 
So I guess I, I, I mean, I think I just keep Vras's Contempt up. Might as well play the Isolated Chapel. Kill Teferi. And deal a bit more damage. So now we have Lethal on our opponent. If they cast another Teferi, I have an immediate response to it. All right. So before they get to... No, they, they have to do something here. All right. So I'm going to Contempt it. I have enough mana up for Syncopate. Yep, yeah, alright. Keep up the pace. So I have lethal on them. They need to have something. Moment of craving does save them. Contempt also saves them. But they had to use it on that because I decided to wait on my Vrasus Contempt. Very important. If I'd played Vraska early, then they could have killed my Vraska, and uh, their contempt would have technically been a little bit better. Um, so let's go ahead and do J Light Ranger. Kind of playing into a sweeper here. Um, guess we'll keep that on top. Kind of playing into Ritual Soot a little bit. Lyra, very glad I kept uh, Chupacabra on top. Let us hope that this resolves. Looks like it does. Cool, cool. All right, so against Esper Control, we obviously bring in the Carnage Tyrants, we bring in the Lyras, we bring in the Duresses, we bring in the Spyglass. What do we take out? Hmm. I think Azoni is relatively weak. I think Tristani is relatively weak. She's actually, I mean, she's a nice response to a board wipe. But I think I would rather just have Lyra. This is making Militia Bugler a lot worse, but I don't want to take, I, I don't want to try too hard to like decrease my threat density. As good as Raska was the game, I actually think she's one of the weaker Planeswalkers I have. Um... Choops. Choops I would usually take out, but they are playing Lyra's main deck, and I I don't know if they're going to take them out. Well, if I have opposing Lyra's, I think Chupacabra's fine. But I mean, like, at this at this rate, I've taken out a decent number of, of hits for Militia Bugler. So it's possible I should take out some Bugle as well. I'm just kind of making my deck a little bit more end game focused i think that's fine we'll try this we are up a game so being up a game means we can take a, a little bit more risks in sideboarding Let's see if this works out for us uh our opponent immediately mulliganed and we have lenor elf on turn one you usually don't need to duress on turn one um i see a lot of people do that but we do have a nice Lionel Elf uh, early on. And that can head into a Jade Light Ranger. So I think uh, I think on turn three, uh, the duress is fine here. They might bolt the bird. No, they just ask Kanta. So I mean, that's that's a reason to um, to hit an early duress is to to do something like ask Kanta. But um. I like, I like having the answers. What can I say? But our opponent did mulligan. Um, so they're going to be, they're going to be under duress. Ah ha ha. Um, anyway, so. Let's see. We're going to duress them in the main phase. Um, just because I do want to be able to cast the Jade Light Ranger negate. That's fine. This unfortunately does play into Ritual Soot, but I mean, at, at, at a certain point, you need to just keep the pressure on. Gotta put that in the grave. Don't have the mana for it. Don't have the mana for that either. I mean, Night of Autumn would be great, but just situation did not uh, pan itself out. Because Night of Autumn would have been able to destroy the Escanta, but 
kind of just need to fade a ritual suck. Unfortunately, they had it. And we don't really have a great follow-up. If they do end up um, getting cocky with a, a Teferi here, we we are able to contempt it. At the very least, you know, that's that's a some some consolidation. Consolation, not consolidation. Really need the white mana here. Really need the white mana here. I mean, technically this works, but... I mean, if they counter this, they can't as easily counter... Um... So do I destroy Escanta, or do I just make a pirate? If it resolves, I think the better plan, honestly, is to destroy Escanta. It also gives me a treasure, so I can Militia Bugler, but I don't think it's going to resolve. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. As long as they don't have Teferi into another counterspell. Should be okay. Alright, cool. Find is nice. Let's see if this resolves it. Looks like it. Oh no, we have to target first. So let's see if this resolves. Please resolve. Awesome. Creating? Inside. All right, sure. Well, uh, since we don't have any white mana, we'll keep that though. <laughs> don't don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I use that to uh to 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 hit you in the in the face. I don't think golden mines is something you should keep in this matchup. I have so many things like there are plenty of like X ones in the deck. You monster. Can't play my Jade Light Ranger. I mean, he probably has Cleansing Nova, but if he's, if he's Cleansing Nova just a Carnage Tyrant, I guess that's fine. Insight, sure. They still don't have Escanta up, which is very good for me. And they decided to keep that on top. Could also have Seal Away, or not Seal Away, um, Settle the Wreckage, which does mean I would be able to get my White Source. Uh, no, Cleansing Nova, darn. Dude, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> so, probably going to flip Escanta here. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, this was just a, a terrible, terrible mana draw here. Wow. All of my overgrown tombs, half of my woodland cemeteries, none of my temple gardens, sun petal groves, or isolated chapels. Patently ridiculous. Sabotage, I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, sabotage, whatever you want. Wow, look. I mean, the card gets me value. I, th I think they should have countered that. <laughs> it gets me the sweet Lena Ralph value. <laughs> I should have countered it. Sure. Yeah, we're going to go on game three, where hopefully I draw white mana before, like, half of the rest of my lands. We have a, we have a fine... Three, three... Oh, wow, did we draw all of our forests, too? Not sure, but that was ridiculous. Um, let's see... Is there anything I would like to change now that I'm going first? I don't think so.
That might look weird, but I think I want to be a little bit more proactive on some fronts. And I think having the chance, like even the slim chance of just drawing double find is not great. All right, we have a good mana situation. We have all three colors. We're going to Overgrown Tomb first. Because we don't need to play the Sun Petal Grove uh, tapped. So potentially, we can get an early Vivian read down, which would be very helpful. Um, Night of Autumn is great if our opponent resolves a turn two um, search for Escanto. Double land is not great, but does mean that we can resolve um, Vivian Reed. Um, I guess I'm just going to attack here. And just like... Make a large Knight of Autumn, I guess? The idea is that A Golden Demise isn't great for them here, so hopefully they don't cast it, but they do something, and I can... All right. Unfortunately, they did decide to do it. I wanted to, to Vivian read on this turn, but it looks like I won't be able to. But I will have Vivian read into potentially Relic Seeker. So let's see. Does my opponent decide to Ritual Suit me? Because, I mean, Knight of Autumn, Lenora, like, this is a painful hit for them. Do I attack with both? <sighs> I think I attack with both and play Vivian Reed. My opponent fires these fires those things off way too soon. Come to me. Ooh, heck yeah. Yeah, my, my opponent is just is just way too too anxious to fire those off. Like even if they um Aldous reborn me here. So sure Teferi is good, but what are you going to do? If you minus on Vivian, I get to kill your Teferi with my Lena Ralph. And yeah, I mean, that's only delaying the inevitable. And I can just cast the Lyra that you saw me put on top. Um, no more games. They could be trying to... So where is it? It's down another one. Um, so I could play Lyra. Or I could play Vraska. I'm, I'm honestly not sure which is better. I, I'm going to go for Lyra. Um, I don't know if it's correct. Yeah, I'm not sure. They have their own Lyra. All right. Um, I'm going to kill that. Do I minus three? Yeah, I'll, I'll minus three in attack. Yeah, this is looking looking real good for us. And are we going to play the Branch Walker? Nah. I don't want to I don't want to play in to um to Clenting Nova too hard. The Branch Walker could have theoretically um sure, that's fine. It could have added to um our clock, but like I'm going to cast Vivian Reed first. If it resolves, I blow up Elder Reborn. And it did, so I blow up Elder Reborn. If it didn't, I would just use Vraska to blow up Elder Reborn. Um, but it resolved, so... I don't have to do anything for the rest of the game. I love casting Planeswalkers. Yes. And boom goes the dynamite. 
unfortunately we only got two games in but uh that is the well we got we got like six games in <laughs> but only two matches unfortunately but you know that's that's the way the cookie crumbles when you when you do best of three and uh you guys do want to see best of three i don't know i teased you there uh, i'm i'm saving my gold for ravnica allegiance in what like two months or something <laughs> anyway i'd like to thank my <laughs> lovely patrons for their continued support especially Sal salamander and uh, zaraga shout out to rabid mongoose <laughs> whose name is a little long i had to move everything over <laughs> to make it fit anyway i really hope you guys uh oh wait what am i saying if you'd like to join them in supporting the channel you'll find links to that in the description down below along with links to my uh, discord server you'll also find uh that if you go over to merchant's channel and you look at the uh D, &D session thing there is a link to the discord server for that over on his channel um, I should be streaming today at some point. Come by and play some games with me. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and tap that like button, add a subscription to our mana pool, and cast one of those comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, all will be one. Like the Borg. Frack. I really need to finish Battlestar Galactica. I watched like three episodes or something. <laughs>